Hey everybody, welcome back to Das Lab. Uh, today what we have here is a Garmin uh, bicycle computer and um, I don't know the exact model, but tell me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so this was given to me by uh, a fella, asked me if I could fix it up. He had actually, it, what the problem is, is the USB C, not the USB-C, US, micro USB port is actually screwed up on it and there's some pins busted off on it. So I mean it's not like a, a repair, it's a replace that USB port. Now he actually uh, got the part for me and there's the part number. Click, okay. Um, connector port USB 2 micro surface mount from DigiKey. So we got that, and uh, he didn't feel like taking it apart and opening it up, so uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a little bit of heat and some leverage and open this thing up and see what we can... Uh, I've got some lights flickering on in here. And see if we can get in and access that USB port and replace it. So for heat, I'm going to try something that uh, I'm sure some of you will probably object to. But what I'm actually going to do... So I'm going to use my, uh, this heat gun here, uh, from my remount station, and, uh, you know what, I'm going to do something else a little different here. I think I'm going to change the head on it. Oh, okay, that's kind of neat. So I'm going to, I'm going to use a different, uh, that's very small little head on it. Put a different size head on it, something a little broader, and uh, just get it more general so it's not such a localized sort of burn. It's really very hot right now. It's not on right now, it's just the uh, the cooling feature of it is uh, cooling that off. So I've got different sized heads here. Yeah, go with something like this. Gives me a little bit more width. And there's a screw on it. That's hot. You know what? That is still on. Okay, I'm turning that down to uh, 200. So it's about the same heat as a as a heat gun. Hot, but not like crazy, crazy hot. We want to try to get this uh, just around the edges. So he's got a replacement already. I mean, this is the tight, nice type of thing. Is uh, is he going to uh, freak out if I lose this uh, altogether? Uh, no, he said. Oh, he's got a spare already. So. All right, let's see what that does for us. So I can get in up like that, and I can slide it. I'm just gonna work that around and I'll keep going. I will be applying a bit more heat and taking care of it uh, that way. I got it kind of half off. I am continuing to apply heat around.
just to soften everything up. I think it's just about ready to pop out. Yep, nice and gentle. Yeah, you can see that black goop that we'll have to fix that up somehow. There we go. We're in. Now I see a connector down here. A little bit of that heat forming stuff so I'll have to disconnect that somehow I think my USB connector is probably soldered on to right here because it doesn't come out the bottom I would have thought it was gonna come out down here but it comes out on the back so it's it's that way. Um, you know what? Yeah, geez, let's see. Let's see. I don't. I don't like dealing with these connectors. Sometimes uh, you can get them off. Sometimes they don't go back on, right? And um, I'm just wondering if I just did these uh, four screws, if I could work on it without actually having to take this apart any further. Let me see if I can get that up. Yeah, so on this I was able to peel back this uh, yellow heat protection tape and then there's a little trap door gate pincher sort of thing there. The uh, ribbon cable goes underneath in there and then you flop that down and should pinch it back in. Always fun to try to get back in, into place. So uh, next I'm going to take these four screws out and then expose the USB cable connector in the back there. Okay, the only other hidden gem inside of there was the um, battery connector. When I pulled that out, there was a little piece of protective foam over it, and this basically just kind of fits on there flat and goes clink with the four wires. You can't really get it wrong. So there's my USB port. There's some sort of a little piece of red protective thing around it. Whether or not that's probably make it waterproof a little bit. We'll see if that uh, that just comes off. And then, uh, well, anti-solder this one and solder this one back in. Looks pretty well the same. We'll see. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. But uh we'll see. Alright. Get set up for anti-soldering. Okay, so I I tried using a hot air to uh to uh anti-solder it. But uh, I ended up using the soldering iron and I touched these up and then I, when I went to actually go and uh, pull the USB port out, the whole thing ripped off and I was really afraid that I would rip these pads up. There's, the, there's five pads that hold down the, uh, uh, you know, the connections for the uh, USB port. These are just me mechanical hold downs. These are the electrical connections, but the pads look like they're in good shape, so it makes me wonder how well they were soldered on in the first place. Um, something else I see here on the old one 
are two little standoffs. Okay, so there's these uh, little pads here. I just have to see if they're on the new one that prevent it from going too far in. And there's my old uh, feet, uh, so not exactly sure why they got soldered off, but man, let's see if we can see the actual problem inside of here. Yeah, so you can see I only see three pins, and two of them are, I think actually the ones on the one on the left side and the one on the right side are, are completely mangled off. So actually, I see one in the bottom. There's a pin right down there. That doesn't matter. Okay. So let's get ready to put the new USB port. <gasps> Where is it? It's gone. Well, I'm gonna go look for that. Oh, I put it in the. Uh... Okay, so there's that's what's nice here, is the new one does have little uh, standoffs as well. So there's little little feet here for it to uh, stand off. So it really looks like an exact direct replacement. This is just a USB cover. Make sure all the five uh, pins are still in there. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I'll flux that up and get it ready for soldering back on. Okay, so here's a note. The uh, the little feet, the mechanical hold downs, they do not stick out very far. Uh, so it's really tough. I had to hold it by hand to get the first one in. And now I'm just kind of touch soldering. Uh, there's not a lot of mechanical uh, grip on there. So I'm just putting a bit of solder on the tip and then going in now electrically speaking. This is where flux is your friend, you know. You've heard me on my channel before talk about the uses of flux and if you're not using flux then uh, what the hell are you doing? Okay. So these are through hole. We'll take a look at and see what they look like on the other side. Okay, so I've just flipped this over and I'm I'm very happy. I didn't touch this up at all. Very happy with the uh, the through holeness. Okay, so again flux is your friend. And uh, I've got a good mechanical seal. That is on there pretty damn strong. I, I can't, I'm not gorilla fisting it, but uh, it is what it is. My standoffs are in place and it looks like it's at the right geometry. Now for the test, let's see what those fingers look like on the other side for the electrical connections. Oh, everything's lined up. Oh, just today's, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy. Everything looks lined up. So now I'm going to just uh, probably reflux those and then a little bit of solder on each one of those bad boys. Okay, well, she ain't pretty and she... Oh, son of a... Blackout. Right in the middle of my joke. She ain't pretty and she doesn't look that way, but... Uh, after a little bit of uh, creative solder, <laughs> okay, I haven't cleaned up the flux yet, but there, it's uh, connected. I'm going to clean up all the goop, and then we'll start reassembly. Alright, get you realigned. Okay, I'm going to say that uh, this red thing... goes in here. Uh, 
Oh, I see. It actually goes right around that hole. Like that. And this is going to go in there, but first we've got to get the battery reconnected. And it's, uh, the battery is completely drained on this. So that's going to go that way. Funny. Maybe I'll do it this way. So um, there was a little writing on here that said push. And it's not on that side. That side and see that this push. So that side was up facing me. There seem to be so much more slack. I'm going to take it out. And is the push side still up? Yes. And that basically just flopped right in there like that. Just Okay, I'll, I'll get it. Okay, there, it's in there now. Just pushed into place. And then, I don't, I don't see any issues with the switches. Okay, the, the, the switches, uh, whatever the mode switches and all that, they didn't really seem to be in the way of, uh, where are you? of uh, falling out or anything like that. So there's nothing to do with any of the switches. So now I'm going to put the four screws back in. Oh yeah. That cheap stainless stuff that doesn't magnetize. But it flies away very nicely. Fly away, little screw. Screw off. That's what you call it. That screwed off. It's okay. I bought like 50 million of them from uh, the interweb. Came with a little fortune cookie. Okay, you don't want to watch me screw. Okay, so I managed to luckily get the ribbon cable back underneath here. It looks like it went in far enough, and then I closed the uh, little trap door here. That's good. Uh, something else I noticed: this thing is full of switches. There's uh, switches on the sides here. There's switches on the bottom, and there's switches on this side. So. Uh, none of them seem to be an issue as far as falling out or anything while I was doing them. Um, there's enough of the the uh, goop around the, the edge here. I'm going to just he heat it up and snap it back together. And then we'll plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so I have uh, resealed it as best as I could. Ian, it may not be waterproof anymore. Uh, if you're bicycling, try to stay on land. Uh, if you're doing the Ironman, take this off before you get into the water for the big swim. 
Uh, okay, and I've got the world's smallest USB-C, uh, micro USB cable here, and uh, actually a little rubber case there, pull that back. Never looked, did look at it, but it all looks good in there. And click, yeah, can you see that? It's coming on. So it tells me we got the battery uh, charged up, Edge 520, it's an Edge 520, that's what this is, I'll put that in the title. I didn't mangle up the display, and it's charging, battery's charging, there we go. Whew. Okay, I was like, it. I mean, I don't mind wrecking my own stuff. But uh, when I'm doing it for somebody else, I like it to work. Anyways, that's all I got for you this time. Don't, don't ever be afraid to try, especially on somebody else's stuff. Have fun, be safe, and don't get any on you. If you like what you see, subscribe down below. See you next time.